just so you know, right? Of course, Kaznoko was the season one champion, won four Dragon Balls, was absolutely dominant for the entire season. Yeah. Uh, the second thing is in season two, Dragon Ball Fighters was just his side game. He did not actively train in this game, and he still got into the world finals of Dragon Ball Fighters. He still got in the top so 16 crazy. best players in the world by playing this as a side game without training the game. This is how ridiculous of a player we're talking about. Exactly. This guy is next level. Absolute monster. Um, let me tell you, I, I, I played against this guy, and he makes you feel hopeless. He just... He always picks the, the characters he feels is the strongest. And this time Gotenks. he's adding he's adding Gotenks to his team. All right. Listen, Gotenks was his character in season one. Uh, Gotenks yeah. has been buffed. Uh, let's see you know, what his Gotenks saying. Because my only concern I have about Gotenks with Kazunoko is that Gotenks' new combos are not like easy combos. And nah. that's not what Kazunoko likes. Exactly. That's very true. I mean, I feel like he does have a head start because, you know, he grinded the character he won. Uh, the world tour in the first season with his character. Yeah. So I feel like he does have a good understanding, but Gotenks is so different in, from season one. Um, <laughs> like, of course. Oh my God. I, yo, we are going to see scrambles and scrambles yeah. and scrambles in the set. Fenrich getting opened up already. Surprised by Kazunoko's movements. Let's go. All right, here we go. Oh. There we go. Locked down here. Oh, wow, the spark. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Yo, is this the power of Ultra Instinct? Is this the power, guys? Are you serious? Did you see that? I have no my words. Man called, my man called Roshi and waited. That was the spark bait. I have no words. I have absolutely no words on this. But of course, Fenrish now is going to dish the damage. Gonna get as much as he can in this situation right now. Building the fourth bar, but not enough to kill, of course. So, gonna just put this one. And of course, Kazunoko will go to annoy wow. the hell out of his opponent because this TP is really hard to have a guaranteed answer to. But Fenrich is gonna start being disrespectful as well. Let me tell you, you're gonna be seeing Kazunoko busting out the DPs a hell of a lot. Okay, here we go. Very good. Nice. Oh, the pressure. Nice tech. Take a blow. Plus frames. You can't challenge after that. You can't. Dynamite the kick. Got new combos. Got it. Go, Stokey. There we yeah, go. He didn't have Set the super jump install, but it's not the best one, but that's still gonna work. The conversion oh! is gonna get there. Yo! The ghost extension is Gotex go back. Kazuno Gotex is back. <laughs> Kazuno Gotenks! I love it! Let's go! That combo was fresh! Great conversion. Kazunoko con los combos! It happens! <laughs> Kazu combo! Okay. Oh my goodness. Why are you trying that miracle fight? Get out of here! I'm gonna be able to get the kill here. Yeah. yeah. No ball, no extra ball needed. Fenrich evens it up real quick. Trying to stop Kazunoko, and I think this might be the weak link of this team. Last week, we haven't seen much of his Roshi. Like, it looked like he was mostly Roshi for that assist. Let's see, you know, where is this Roshi standing today? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, judging from last week, this is the most Kazunoko Roshi you could ever hope to see. He is doing <laughs> as basic as he can get away with. Okay, here we go. Level three. All right, let's go. All right, going to be a here mix behind this, of course. Yep. There you go. Fenrich you didn't train in that one, old man. You didn't teach him that move. Oh, what did he try? Maybe DP. I think he tried the DP, but it uh, it went on the other side. The wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. Like he got the classical forward instead, and that is going to be a dead Roshi, and that might be the thing that puts Kazunoko behind in this set. His Roshi is a bit subpar. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness, <laughs> yo! Mister, this character was designed for Kazunoko. The risk taker. Was, oh, that's weak. Game. What? My god, what is happening? Right. What is up? Oh! <laughs> Bro! Okay. Tara, this is... It, call the police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the DR is gonna open him up! Kazunoko says that GT Gukon! And now we're going to have the showdown of the century. Goku versus Vegeta. Let's go. 
Oh no, oh. that's it, that's it. Only took, only took was one, five LLL and Kazunoko overdoing it with a level three for the end. He's gonna get the first game over Fenwich. And you know that these first games against Kazunoko, they're always hard because as a player, you're like, okay, is he in, in Kazunoko mode? You know, like, is, is he gonna play crazy or... Is he gonna play neutral today? It looks like Kazunoko is like, today I do not care. I'm gonna do my stuff and you deal with it. If you can't do it, deal with it, GG's. If you can't, well, thank you very much. Goodbye, I'll see, I'll see you really, next time. He really doesn't care. He really doesn't care, man. And let me tell you, the power, the power of top tier definitely coming through, flowing through his veins right there. Um, a great play from, from Kazunoko. Definitely uh, getting some shades of Kazuyolo in there. So yeah, man, like he's, 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 he's playing like crazy. Expected. This is what if you're Fenrich, you have to expect him to play like this because yeah, get him play last week. Um, so you need to come prepared with a strategy to stop the Yolo gameplay. That's uh, gonna be the theme of the set for uh, for Fenrich. Uh, can he overcome? Can he overcome the? Uh, craziness that is Kazunoko. But remember that last week Kazunoko got a very uh, convincing first game against, uh, I think it was Banbaban, right? Uh, but then a very, very good comeback by his opponents. Uh, you know, like, you can definitely adapt to this. You need to make sure that he doesn't go too crazy. No doubt. All right, guys, let's get back into it here. Oh my goodness, Kazunoko gets the first hit here on Ferenc. And I feel like Kazunoko, like with this new team that he's playing in this playstyle, I feel like he can seriously upset anyone in the league. Even like, you know, your Fenrich's, your Goichi's, the way he's playing, it's the kind of gameplay that just, you know, a lot of these players, when they play fighting games, they play them by the book. They play them like to a T, you know, by the numbers. Kazunoko throws all that out the window and that was a fantastic conversion. Fenrich going in with the cell right now. Okay, there we go. Sola, Kamehameha, coming up. Oh no, that's gonna be baited, yeah. That's gonna be the thing. Fenrich is gonna play safe now. Fenrich is gonna take his time. Yeah, knocked down. Yeah, nice. um, Kazunoko and Kazunoko and Tachikam have the same sponsor. So, like, they're at the Burning Core HQ right now, guys. So that's why... Yeah, this is why you see uh, Tachikawa. It's not Tachikawa playing, don't worry. It's <laughs> definitely, I mean, you can tell the play style is definitely Kazunoko. Yeah. Tachikawa only plays black characters, guys. What do you see? You see UI on the screen? It's not him. Go Tank. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. Oh, the reflect bot! Got opened up right there. Down. Bro, did he... Bro, he's dead. Dead. Fenrich. Listen, this is the most optimal man. <laughs> the most, the optimal, most man. optimal man on the planet. Fenrich, once again, giving the maximum damage from any little opening. And you know what? No, not like this. Not like, oh, not, not punished? Unfortunate. So it's great opening, but I think this is a great job by uh, by Kazunoko, by uh, Fenrich, sorry, to put that Roshi last, because this Roshi, we have not seen him too much, so it might be better to keep him for last. You know a great option against Roshi on Wake Up? If you play a short character like GT, it's just to do meaty, like, 2L on their Wake Up. You can literally mash and it will beat the armor and the, the, yeah. the GT will whip. So like, I know that works with Gotenks. I don't know if it works with GT, but it's definitely something to consider here. Fenrir. There we go, corner situation. Big buff Bagwell here. Kamehameha, the originator, let's go. That was a weird 2H by the way. I don't know why it went on this side. I don't know why it went on this side, but it did. And that's gonna be a dead Vegeta Kazunoko making me lie. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. And yeah, I, I see that a lot more of Femrich these days. With the two the two S himself to approach. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I, can't I like this. Uh, it's it's a budget god slicer more or less, you know. <laughs> Yo, that EX rolling crush was horrible. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. You cannot, listen, you need to respect Kazunoko's wake up. This is the problem. You're going to be scared of pressuring him until he just wakes up and press buttons and takes his turn. That's what he wants. He wants to install the fear in your head right now. He has not used the command grab yet, by the way. No, he has not. I feel like a guy like Benrich is going to be looking for those specifically. But here we go. Level three, right off the bat. Benrich restores order here. It's 1-1 for him. Against Kazunoko. Ah, that's good. So far. 
good yep. management from uh, Fenrich to to just handle the craziness that Kazunoko is bringing right now. It is 1-1, Fenrich looking good, and that set is as juicy as we wanted it to be. Yep, it's been a back and forth one so far. Let's see if the back and forth will continue or if someone's going to, uh, you know, lead away now and just sort of take advantage. But man, like, when I think about back and forth sets we've had this weekend already, I just can't help but think about, man, Jilla versus Kaiden was so sick. Like yeah, that that, that, that was such yeah. a hype set. We had the uh, Gropies versus Gamba as well. Uh, ex a couple yep. of excellent sets, you know, like throughout the week. Uh, that's been a very, very entertaining week number three. And we are far from being done as we got Fenwich Kazunoko. And of course, later today is going to be US East. Let's see 1-1 one, one between Fenwich and Kazunoko. That Gotenks uh, by Kazunoko is... It, it, it's interesting to Gotenks back, you know? It's like, oh, it's been a while, man. Yeah, I really like this character, man. Like, I, I, I play this character again. I went back to him. The buffs are just too juicy. They're too tempting. Um, and Kazunoko, let's see if he can make it work here. Ooh, all right, all right. Oh, no, the challenge, though. Kazunoko, three jumps. Fenrich. Down time, it's gonna be. Oh, oh no. <laughs> this assist, is. Man. This is the Kazunoko oh. assist. Okay. Loved it. Ouch, oh, the two no. opening as well. Into the side switch, there is one GT assist on this, and you know he's gonna optimize this because he wants that UI Goku dead. Yeah, hell yeah. That's a problem maker. You don't deal with those out here. Get out of there. Burria. Shell gonna get the kill. Here comes go tanks. Okay. Son Goku. Nah, Cell's the best. Bro. The season. Wakamoto. Gonna... Wakamoto yeah. is life. I wanna meet him one day just to talk to him. Whatever he wants <laughs> to say, I wanna hear listen to his voice, that's all. Yeah, exactly. Like, talk to all me right. about anything and listen. Yeah, you know this, this man can tell you about the weather and make it sound like the most gassed thing ever. <laughs> Son <Rey Jay>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna man, get the most right. gassed like weather coming up, but you're gonna yeah, be hyped, you know. Exactly. But in the meantime, that's gonna be a mix. Fenrich, very, very dominant in this game number three. Okay. Oh, listen. Oh, okay, he vanished after that, but look at the scaling. You know this is a vanish combo? This is a vanish combo, guys. Did you know that was okay. a vanish? It's unbelievable. 60%. Man, it's so crazy. Oh, 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 he's gonna go for the spark, man. He's gonna go for the spark, and of course, he's gonna kill that good tanks. And the strategy is still working, current. We keep Roshi for last. Yep, here he is. Muten Roshi. With the red shades, the red tinted shades are looking fresh. Oh my goodness. Power up on it. There we go. Ooh, my man's got the combo. All right, there we go. Kazu combos. Oh, you have to be careful. That's a full squad you've got to deal with, old man. All right, go blow. Oh, oh, the earth. That's going to open him up. All right, that's Roshi is now in the blender. And Fenrich is probably going to swap that Vegeta out. Ah, final flash. Yeah, he might switch after, actually. No! <laughs> he took the risk! And that's gonna be a dead Roshi. Fenrich looks like he's the one making Kazunuko dub right now. That is gonna be two to one. Fenrich is looking good. You know that's a smart layered mind game there for Fenrich because Vegeta had so much blue life. Like, yeah, he had three characters, but you don't normally want to leave a character with blue life there. I think he yeah. baited Kazunoko into blocking, thinking he was gonna switch, and he just DR'd him, like, straight up with Vegeta. Yeah. Great option for him. Opened him up and that will do it for him. 2-1 right now. I feel like Fenrich is, you know, he's feeling a lot more comfortable here. You know, he's he's adapted he's, he's... to the craziness that is Kazuloko. That's the thing. Kazunoko will have to play a bit more solid. Uh, you know, I think uh, yeah. Fenrich identified the flaw in his team, which is uh, Roshi, and has been isolating him, uh, you know, really well. Uh, Kazunoko, so I'm liking his Gotenks. I'm liking the damage that he's showing. Like, he's definitely worked uh, on his Gotenks. is is such a huge uh, damage factory. In fact, in fact, you know what? It's... Big enough for damage factor, I'm gonna spoil something for you guys. You know we got Sparking Cast right after this on our streams, which is the weekly tech review. And I've got a Sparking Less, less than one bar TOD from Gotenks to show you today. 
So yeah, just saying that yeah. guy is an absolute ridiculous damage factory. EX Miracle Punches is like, I don't think it's working as intended right now. Um, yeah, I think it reverses the scaling somehow. It's, it's really weird how it works, but anyway. There we go. Oh my goodness. There we go. A good start by this guy Goku. Punches up that Vegeta and the Rotag is not going to get caught by Kazunoko. Was not looking for this one. Ooh, dash right there. Okay, block in there. Oh my goodness! Committed! Oh! Damn! Roshi. Came in to punch up the boy. Okay. Ooh, wow, that's off. That will take his time as well. That will take his time, wow. and that's gonna be the opening on that UI Goku. Great movement by Fenrich once again takes the advantage. Here we go. Level three time, final flash. Right, now you're guessing. Oh! Okay, the spark. Fenrich baited it, but didn't really go for a punish. I think he was just trying to bait a, a, a UI wake up, you know? Yeah. Okay. On the top, the air is going to be the one to open. At least Kazunoko gets something. His spark hasn't been used for offensive purposes at all, but the level three from Gotenx is going to work. Okay, here we go. Level three knocked down here. Oh. oh no, you don't want to be hit by that. <laughs> Look at that, yeah. man! Oh, he's been doing such a good job with those assist calls. Kazunoko really has just found a, a game plan that is just... So, it's such a degen game plan, but it really does work. Look at this. Roshi, knockdown, easy stuff, simple. ABC combos, get the kill. Yeah, Beautiful. simple, efficient, made it work. Kazunoko now efficient. taking the lead, no spark on both sides as well. That is, that, that is the way I would describe Kazunoko. Simple but efficient. Here we go. Knockdown time. And the Ghost Oki, you know, if you have that knowledge down like he does from, uh, look at this, from season one, it's so useful. Look at this character! Are you joking? Where does he stop? It doesn't kill! But when does he stop? The road tag had to happen, obviously. Kazunoko can't lose combos. Okay. All right, there we go. We're gonna go straight into the level three here. Nice, right, cool. Mix after the level three here for Fenrich. What's it gonna be? Cross up or Kazunoko with a dash block the other side. Yeah, interesting. Good choice. The Tabia is going to be Tekto. Kazunoko was ready. And the ASC is going to catch him. And a great side switch by Kazunoko. He was so ready. That was a sick side switch. Here come the ghosts again. Reflect, reflect. Oh, oh. my goodness. Yo, those reflects were so sick. You know, he delayed in between. That was not all at all. In one string. That yeah, is they were so manually sick. timed. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Bro, that's wild. What an okay, awesome so there, hand, but what, That was an absolute future Dragon Rush. No one's taking that turn. No one is ever taking that. Yeah. There we go. And this should be a dead UI. Get that knocked down. There we go. Powered up. Super yeah. Saiyan 3. Super. That's going to do it. All right. It's again, once again, Roshi alone. Henrich is looking for exactly this situation and it's been happening for the last three games right now. Oh, Kazunoko will have to make it work. Tap the air is going to work. Yep, here we go. Simple, though. Probably going to go for the... Uh... No, Kazunoko, you forgot. He started with the R, right? You started with the DR, Kazunoko. This is the, this Happens is the to the best of us, champion. I guess. Yeah. I will feel less bad when I do this kind of crap now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Knocked down. Yeah, no. That was too much. That was too much. Fenrich was too ready for this one. And, of course, going to be there for the conversion. Bro. I love his stealth combo. Knocked down. There we go. Here we go, old man. I stole your move. Level three time. Oh my goodness! Before the before the active frames kicked in, I guess he was vulnerable, and he's gonna have to optimize it. Guess what? It's oh, that's it. Bro. That's it. 
It's Fenrich, it's a BNB, it's not an optimal. It's it's normal, it's absolutely normal. And Fenrich is gonna take game number 43. One for Fenrich, and the more we go, the more confident he looks, and the more he looks like, okay, Kazunoko, you might be crazy, but, you know, you're facing Fenrich right now. There's defense as well on my side, it's gonna work. He's actually, like, he's limiting... Um the options that Kazunoko can do here. Like, we can see Kazunoko is trying to bring that crazy play style that we saw last week, but against a guy like Fenrich, who's just so good at just limiting what you can do, I don't think it's going to work. I really don't. Yeah. I feel like Kazunoko, he even needs to play more solid or up the crazy even more. Um, you know, he needs to do something here to try and stop Fenrich. So let's see the options that he makes in the next match, guys. Match number five. Yeah, cool. Because I think even in the neutral, like Fenrich is clearly winning neutral right now. Uh, you know, of course, Kazunoko got a couple of like, you know, conversions here and there, but not enough to say that Fenrich looks in trouble. Totally, totally, totally. So let's check it out here. Man, Kazunoko though, like he's bringing some of that crazy Gotenk stuff this week. I have to say I'm loving it. Okay. Let's go. Vegeta. <laughs> yep. Cool. He's but when he calls you, you've got, you've got to deliver, man. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Frame kill right there. That that uh, two L after the knockdown with UI. You see that good timing. Look at this. Ultra instinct, man. <laughs> man, Roshi. Oh, he's dead actually. Get the key charge. EP. <sighs> I one on one, think should be so. enough right here. That's, I, that's a, yeah, yeah, Roshi is a pretty good know. DAC, so yes. Yeah, ghosts. There we go. Make the most of Halloween while we got it. Exactly. It's spooky time, make them work. There we go. Don't take down the decorations just yet. Go take the tier. Oh my goodness! Ah. Big boy A assist right there. Okay. Go low! Oh, one more ghost, buddy. Yo, that's those two. Look, look at the damage. Dynamite look at the damage. Beat. From these small situations, he gets as much as he can. The reflex was baited, but no, could not punish this. Okay. Okay, we're just staying. All the spark up here. We go tanks. Oh, oh my goodness, again, this assist helping Kazunoko in the neutral. Fenrich is struggling to find an approach here. Ghost Oki reflects all of it. Okay, yeah, but nice, nice, nice. I respect it. So we're gonna back off, set it up once again. Let's go. Shades of Season 1. What are you going to do? Spark up from Fenrich. And again! How many times has he got the hit with that assist? That assist Remember saves lives, Tarrant. Yeah. Ooh, that's oh, gonna be trash no. as well. Oh. The only damage here is. Oh, well, you dropped it. You dropped it. Well, that's, gonna be blocked. that's gonna be huge. I think he's dead. Spark on. No, that's gonna oh. be dropped. Very unfortunate. That could have been much more. Yeah, that was an awkward, uh, awkward fight there for Gotenks. All right, here we go. Oh no, misses the follow up. Kazanoko with some drops here, but it doesn't matter. Able to get the pick up on GT. Fenrich down to his last character is that Vegeta that we saw so much success with the first two seasons of the game. Can he make it happen here against three characters? I don't know, Damascus. That's, that's look looking good. really hard and low. Yeah, okay. That's it, that's it. You don't need anything more. Just goes for the simple, efficient combo. This is Kazunoko we're talking about and that was an extremely dominant game. Barely scraped. Kazunoko was barely, barely even touched by Fenrich in this game number five. Three, two, looking to get the comeback happening. I feel like um, he's literally going for Ghost Oki whenever he can, like literally every yeah. single knockdown, just just to force Fenrich into making a decision, whether it's, you know, to bait Spark, to, um, you know, force a reflect situation, whatever. Um, you know, that's a risk. Like, yeah, getting the guy to to do something is all well and good, but it's a risk for Fenrich as well. And it's almost no risk for Kazunoko because he's just forcing you to use resources at the end of the day. So, yeah, great play from him, you know, going for those... Tough situations for Fenrich, and it's it's been a really good one so far. This is definitely delivering on all fronts. It definitely is. We're expecting, we're looking forward to this set, and so far it's been exactly the set we're expecting. The the optimal versus the craziness, and we've got Kazunoko bringing the heat right now. Maybe being a bit more uh, neutral heavy, which definitely works. Fenrich now still on the leads. Can he uh, get a two games lead again? 
All right, here we go. Okay, wow, well, starting things off with that steer assist, but now Kazunoko has spent both assists on his side, has to open him up the honest way, does not do so. Vegeta. Again. Oh! He's been getting away with so many of these auto combos, man. Just the power of Ultra Instinct. Okay, again. Oh, see, assist, yep. Time again, a frame kill here. Oh man, he just waits and just doesn't. Bro, that's all he takes. Every time, every time, and that's a dead GT, you know that? Two touch? Yeah, that's, that's all he takes, that's all he takes. Dead GT indeed. Into the Dragon Rush, and yes, level one. Level two even. And that team, of course, is such a huge uh, damage maker in the DHC side because he's got two level twos. Yeah, for sure. Very, very powerful. Roshi and UI, it's a good combo, I feel like. Uh oh, uh oh! Look at the damage! Oh my goodness! Bro! You have to stop. <laughs> Yo, Go Tanks this is a little terror. This little hedgehog what is out is of control. Happening? Oh, what bro. is happening, man? Has Anoko working on a perfect here against Bemridge? Are you serious? Not like this, guys. Not like this. Player that everyone was looking at so much. Has Anoko, I'm telling you, it's this playstyle. Okay. Any game? Ooh. Oh, no! Boys. Any game Has Anoko puts his mind to. It doesn't matter if he's been grinding it daily. Like, no! That's it! Bro! Are you serious? We have... An official perfect up on the scoreboard right now. Uh, you should have sparked this, Kazunoko. I don't think. Can you kill? You should have sparked this, I believe. Let's see if the level ones and ones. Let's see if they can all make it oh. work. Yes, they can. It is a perfect. Your chat chat, of course. I know the screen doesn't say perfect. Press one if this is a perfect. Guys, Press. I, I want to know the chat. I'm definitely pressing one. I'm definitely pressing one. It's like Kazunoko is absolutely, you know, listen, I'm seeing chat. The International Committee of Perfect validates this performance mm. as a true perfect Kazunoko. You got the perfect license. What a performance. The way he brought it back, he completely changed his gameplay. Went from crazy to just oppressive. And the oppressive gameplay is what Kazunoko is so good at. He's really just going all in. He's not giving, Kaz uh, not giving Femrich any time to breathe. He is... Picking his opportunities so well, he's like delaying options. Like he knows when Fenrich wants to escape. I don't know if he's been studying the guy or what, but it's working out a bit too well for Kazunoko for it to be a coincidence. He waits for that slight that slight gap, and then boom, he's in there with the auto combo. As simple a strategy as you could ever do in Dragon Ball Fighters, and it is working against one of the best players in the entire world. Let's go, Kazunoko ties ah. it up three three. Yep, but it's now first to two. That first to five is basically transformed into a much smaller set between these guys. And the first opening goes to Kazunoko's UI Goku. This UI Goku is just completely changed up. Oh, Fenrich fighting back with a little YOLO of his own. Wake up, what a combo. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, oh, the bait, perfect. Punished. That was a big bait. Too far to actually get that assist away, and he got punished by the cell beam. Right, here we go. Yeah, that's, good. that's not the damage, but that is a dead UI Goku. Perfect. Bait. That is actually the first time this yeah. entire set that Kazunoko uses the wake up. Yeah. So you know what? Doesn't need anything more. That's going to be the kill. Fenrich is immediately putting the pressure on. Absolutely. You can bait that one out, guys, in 2 h You just have to be looking for it. The same way you would have vanished, it's exactly the same thing. You look for it, you punish it. Okay. Oh my goodness. Some nice stuff there from Fenrich. Gets the hit. And that will be knocked down. Oh my goodness. Did he know Kazunoko was going to try wake up buttons? What did he try? Well, you know, okay. Kazunoko is known for that, man. Any game he plays, wake up buttons, wake up being active on yeah. this. Unfortunately, rare footage of Fenrich not finishing his play. Kazunoko can escape. But Fenrich now with a movement. Great answer by Kazunoko. And the movement is still in. Kazunoko looking for a way in. And Fenrich with a tap B air is going to take that good tanks out. Yeah, that will do it right here. Just big bang attack. There we go. 
and one half of his kid's home. Okay, here we go. Ooh, the overhead. There we go. This is a bad situation, man. What do you reckon? Wake up, DP. There we go once again, showing Roshi how to perfect Kamehameha. And it's why it's kind of no cool in a wake up DP. And that's exactly why Fenrir decided to wait. He was like, oh, I'm not trying anything on this. Yo, that was even a blue combo on this, damn. Uh, yeah, I think oh, if he had converted that, it would have been like no damage. But yeah, that should just about do it. Oh, he's getting loads of parts. Park, of course. Yeah, can, can, we, can we put five. four games to Fenrich? Already? Yeah. Done. Get it on there, man. It's done. It's Fenrich. It's, it's Fenrich in Spark who gets a conversion. Like, that's done. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's top. That's like finished. Let's move to the next game. 4-3. For Fenrich, one game away from winning this extremely important one because, as we said, right, Fenrich and Goichi are the expected players to go like top two, but Kazunoko is, is the top one contender to try and put these guys in trouble. He's doing pretty well, but Fenrich has these games like, okay, let me just like remind you who I'm, who I am, and that's really, really been a solid performance. Absolutely, this is you know, this is a battle of of two of two, of two champs. Like they're both one big, big, big tournaments in this game. Um, but man, I feel like Kazunoko is being met right now on the crazy scale by Fenrich. Like he's taking some big risks of his own. He's waking up with a lot more buttons, you know, instead of blocking on wake up and then trying to react, he's just preemptively doing stuff now. You know, he's stopping yeah. Kazunoko in his tracks from, you know, trying to bait out those options that he was before. So yeah, Fenrich looking good, man. And this is what it takes to be a world champ. You need to, you need to adapt to your opponent and let's see if Kazunoko can make that happen here. Yeah, you know what's interesting? I just clocked. Fenrich doesn't use the the dash macro. The dash which macro one, is turned one? off, which means when he when he dash blocks, he dash blocks. He doesn't use a macro ah. dash block. So ah, okay. I'm curious to see him doing moon jumps as well with this, because it's uh, <laughs> not an easy uh, thing to do without the macro. It's quite quite interesting to see the choice. Uh, I never really yeah. like, noticed this one, but straight to the spark. Oh, that CSC is done dwarf. Okay, here we go. Wow, the two eight right here. There's a lot of damage. Oh, okay. Spark up here. Has a no-go right now. Oh, he's trying to defend, but cannot do so. Fenrich gets a little bit of extra spark, an extra bar on that, and I think he's going to get enough here. I don't know about killing, but it's going to be close. Oh. oh, he did that. Oh, out of this. Wait, what? Wait, what? No! He <laughs> did why Goku with the level oh, 3 you? and the DH to punish this. That is the single most stupid interaction Bro, I have seen what? today. <laughs> what the heck did I just see? He hit the wrong guy. Goku, please. Come on, you're supposed to be our savior. How are you doing that, man? Hitting the wrong dude? <laughs> this is why, this is why, you know, like, if that was uh, Vegeta or Cell, the level 3 would have hit both, right? Yeah. But because it's GT Goku and it's a one hit into cinematic, that could not yeah. work because he hit the, the character that was already out of the game. Exactly, he can't, can't catch multiple characters. Right, here we go, Fenrich trying to defend here against the Ghost. Nice, guard cancel in, but gets punished regardless. Kazunoko on his way back to leveling this one up. 4-4, four, four. just get these two characters out. Ghost time, set it up. Oh, no. okay, he hasn't done that, and I respect that. Just once, just once, just get in blood. That's not the right person you have to hit, uh, Kazunoko. Wait for that cell to come in. Great movements. Oh, man, here we go. Into time. Roshi as well. Sensei. I think he's dead. This is a lot of damage on these two stupid. Oh, no, all right. Oh, no. Maybe not. I think one of the guys. He saves the tail. Okay, here we go. Tap, tap the air, that's gonna open him up, no tech on Kazunoko's side and Fenrich looking to do the comeback now. He needs to try and close it now, you don't want to go in a 4-4 situation against someone who can be as crazy as Kazunoko. Such a close game so far and that Vegeta escapes the corner. Yeah, two right, here we go. Kazunoko with a great air-to-air -air conversion here, what's it gonna be? Here we go, big buff. Kamehameha time. The red tinted shades. Whoa! Oh, no what? Damn! Roshi! And that's a dead oh, hell. Right. Now here we go. Yeah, cell. cell is dead. Go! Oh, oh, I should have used the jar, man. I would have liked the jar, Kazunoko, just for the just for the swag. I would have liked to put that cell in the jar, but, <laughs> but he doesn't care. He just... <laughs> 
<laughs> that jar is reserved for Vegeta. Let's see. Okay. Man, Roshi's kind of sick, you know. I really do like this character. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, no, down tick buttons. Wow. Simple as you like. I think he went for the Dragon Balls, did he not? I wonder. Like seven that bars? Like he went, when, yeah, he, it looked like... He, there's no way Fenrich would go for a combo like that usually. He just did auto combo yeah, into auto combo. True. That's actually true. He wanted, but now he's got six bars. Ooh, gets the conversion. That was a very smart one. And... Can I get the loop? No, not enough to kill, though. Okay, here we go. Oh, thanks. Oh, is it enough? No, he didn't get the extra bar he needed. <gasps> oh, he woke up Reflect and that is gonna lose to the Dragon Rush. Guys, we got a final game for the second time today. It is 4-4. We're moving to game number nine. And I've got to say, man, playing Kazunoko in the first one is one of the scariest thing in any fighting game that could yeah, happen yeah, to you. Yeah. This guy is absolutely crazy. He will surprise you once and take the game and go home with it. Exactly. He really can do it. Like, Kazunoko can definitely do that. Any game he puts his mind to, um, of course, he's going to come out on top. The first week, he was still playing that, you know, that, that season two team. Switched it up since then. And look how much difference two weeks makes. You, yeah. from, If this guy focuses on any game, in two weeks' time, he's going to be an absolute monster. He's going to be at the top of his game once again. And you're seeing it, guys. He has adapted perfectly to this environment. He's adapted to the to uh, this this online uh, playstyle here and yeah he's really bringing it to Fenrich 4-4 four, four against him like two weeks ago I would have said no way 5-0 to Fenrich <laughs> right yeah. now yeah. but right now like look at how he's bringing it this is crazy all right, chat, press some buttons. Press one for Fenrit, two for Kazunoko. We are out there. Let's go. Final game. And both of them taking their time. Both of them just waiting. Not willing to take a risk. And a clean opening by Fenrit. That's going to be huge damage. I see the ones. I see the twos. Everyone has a favorite right there. And Fenrit is the one getting the huge damage at the beginning. The safe jump is there. That's not going to be baited. He has to block. He's got to block the Dragon Rush. going to open him up. Yeah, there we go. That's a big one right there. Fenrich will not be able to kill in this situation, but he is going to get the knockdown. Kazunoko, he's out of danger. And you know he's going to switch out Ace back. The assist connects, and now he gets himself a good situation. But don't forget that spike is still there for Fenrich. Okay. Oh, All he's right. straight to go thanks to Volt 3. Okay, he wants... I think he wants to force Fenrich to spark immediately, but there is no okay. assist on Kazunoko's side, so it's realistic for Fenrich to try and just block this mix. No cell, I choose oh, you. He spark straight away. Here he comes. Spark is there. That's right, he's going to build back that blue life. Oh my goodness, Tiger Ni Kamehameha. Hard to block that one. Oh, there we go, down. And he's going to go for the final flash, just wants to lock that Gotex in the corner. It's an extremely close game number nine so far. Oh, wow. great tech! Great tech from there. Those ones were there far away are super hard to tech. Okay. <laughs> what the oh, hell? He just really had two! Oh, I'll tell you what, he's lucky. Ghosts. This is the trick to defeating Fenrich. These ghosts have been so effective. Okay, he's out. The vanish. Yeah, but go. Ooh. Oh, that's dead. Oh, that's dead, Tara. That is a dead go oh, thing. Yeah. Go one more? Out there. Yeah. Only one bar. Oh. oh no, two bars. Two bars needed. Okay, 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 okay. And that is gonna be still a dead Gotenks UI Goku. And you know that Fenrich wants to save that Roshi for last because he knows it's the weakest character of the three on Kazunoko's side. That might be the betraying factor at the end of the day. And oh. what a great pickup by Fenrich. Listen, Vegeta doesn't miss when it comes to Goku. Saw him. Okay, here we go. Gonna get the knockdown. Once again, Fenrich backs off the 2148 <laughs> and Kazunoko is a man possessed oh, no! with these flips. There we go. Ultra okay. ignorance. Ultra ignorance out there. And that's going to be the frame kill. Oh, the double reflex going to be baited. Kazunoko now going to extend this one. Going to try to build as much bar as he can to just get the kill. Yeah, he can kill. He can kill. That's it. That is a dead Vegeta. Just hold that button. Oh, just goes one and three. Okay. Look at the shades, bro. Shades, the pearly whites as well. I like how that level three gives him all his teeth back as well. All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, the oh, 2S pressure. 
Yeah, he goes for he goes for a 6M. Even Pokazunoko showed that he will DP without his dating right now. And that is gonna be all the way down into level uh, three. And that uh, is huge uh, because he's got the bars to go for the left right tower and the rolling crush left right might happen now. Oh hey! no, we are trying to DP, but got opened up by the TR. That's a really good one. We've seen that a couple of times from Fenrich. He knows Kazunoko likes to DP on wake up, but that Roshi DP, not, it, it just has armor on startup. It's not invincible until the active frames kick in. So let's go. Oh, Rolling Crush. One more character remains. And that's just that's... do it. Fenrich finds the Dragon Rush and Kazunoko. Is the Goku going to go down? Fenrich takes this one 5 4 in an absolutely thrilling. Back and forth set, bro. That was so good. That was godlike. That, that has been oh, my favorite man. set of the Japanese league so far by far. Like no 100%. doubt of this. This was a ridiculous high octane, back and forth, fun, cursed, optimal. It had it all. Everything you want to see on a Dragon Ball Fighters match. It had it all in these first two five. And Fenrich vanquishes the biggest threat to his. Uh, to his like top two position in the name of uh, Kazunoko there. And I've got to say, Kazunoko is absolutely bringing the hit, man. And depending on what happened on the league, of course, we expect Kazunoko to end up in the playoffs, of course, unless catastrophe happens. If he does, you know he's going to bring even more hit at these points. Bro, he was looking so good this week. Like, he's the first one to actually threaten Fenrich, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's the first one to actually like look like he could do work against this guy. And... Bro, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, if I'm Goichi, I wouldn't be too comfortable in that top spot because when you have to play Kazunoko, it could all come crashing down. You never know. Yeah.